Hey guys, welcome back. Last year I did a video called Unreal Engine 5 for Persistent World Multiplayer Games. And in that video, I took a look at the limitations in UE5 Early Access. And one of the big ones is that landscapes are not represented in the Lumen scene. And so what happened was that light wouldn't bounce off the landscape and get that indirect bounce that would light up other areas. And so when you had a landscape and you had areas that were covering something, you know, so that the light wouldn't directly hit it, you ended up with areas that were overly dark. And so now as I'm going through UE5 Preview 1, I'm taking a look at, um, did they fix these issues? And so we're going to take a look at this one and see if they fixed it. So I created a map here. It's just a third person starter map. And I threw in a landscape and I gave it a black color. And so you can see here that it's definitely not bouncing. If I scroll out, we can kind of see what we've got here, right? So I've got this to try to stop the light from directly hitting what's underneath it. And you can see here that the bottom side of it is darker than it should be in reality, right? That's, that's not what it would look at like in real life. Things, light would bounce off this and back up into it. It would be darker, but it's not supposed to be solid dark. Also, these other objects underneath it they should be lighter. They, they shouldn't be as dark as they are. Um, they are getting some bounce uh, off of other things. You know, maybe it's bouncing off this over to it or different things are bouncing, but it should, it should be bouncing off the landscape. Um, and it's not because it uses the base color to decide how much light to bounce. So what we're going to do here, and this did not work in UE5, early access, but it does work in UE5 preview one is we're going to go here. I'm going to pick a color so it's easy to see what's happening. And we're going to save this and you will be able to quickly see it actually takes a second there. You see how that works. Lumen's not a real time uh, system. So it actually is running asynchronously, but you can see that it significantly lit up these objects here that were underneath it. And it also now is bouncing this light up into this and correctly showing what the scene would look like uh, with proper bounce lighting. So this is definitely something they have fixed. I'm super excited about it. Uh, your outdoor scenes with landscapes are gonna look a whole lot better. You know, say you had, you know, small caves. Now the entrance of the cave is gonna get that nice, you know, light from the front of it bounced into it. It's not just gonna look like a black hole at the front of it. Now, if you go deep enough where light wouldn't bounce into it, it's still gonna be dark. Um, but things like that are really going to help. You're also going to get um, nicer looking lighting uh, underneath dense foliage. So you should really see some improvements there. Anywhere that uh, was blocking stuff. Another great example of, um, well, Lumen in general, the landscape, not as much here, but Lumen in general is that um, you're now going to have yeah, light may be able to come through holes in buildings or other things and start to bounce around inside. If there happened to be a landscape that it was bouncing and hitting and, and not a floor that was made out of a static mesh, you are now going to see that working. So luckily they have, they have fixed this and landscape uh, now bounces light properly in Lumen. And I'm super excited. That's all. Until next time. See ya.